I got this Ixus 850 pocket camera for free. But of course, that means that it came with a catch. The catch being that it doesn't have a battery inside. And considering the age, this battery is probably worth more than the rest of the camera. So I made my own. This little adapter will fit inside, touching the battery contacts, and allows me to pass current through. Now normally you could just tape a cell to the side of the camera, but instead we'll make something fancier. This is the battery handle for the Ixus 850. With this we'll be able to mount a 18650 cell to the Ixus, which has roughly two and a half times the capacity of the original battery that this camera used. And we also have USB-C charging, so that you definitely won't run out of the power. Now, to make sure that everyone sees that it actually works, here we are. Now let's get to how you'll make this. These are the pieces that you will need to 3D print for this build. We can see that we have our battery compartment, we have our compartment for the charger, and then we have our tripod screw, and we have a place for the screw that goes into the camera. Normally overhangs like this would not work. However, there's a little trick that we can use. There is special geometry in the piece that forces the slicer to do certain kinds of overhangs in these parts, which then results in a piece that doesn't require supports. And as such, this piece does not require any supports to be printed. Here is the lithium charger that I chose. And here are the battery leads, usually used in RC things. And they cannot be plugged in the wrong way around, because that would probably break the camera. Here is the adapter shell, and we'll add some prongs in the front, and we'll install the receptacle roughly here. And then you'll be able to plug in the outside power through the hole because the camera was originally made to accept outside power. Now that we have an idea what we're going to be doing, let's get to wiring. We'll first wire the outputs. Once the outputs are done, you can see that I've shortened the wire a bit. And I've already attached the receptacle with some hot glue. Now here are the holes that we need to get the electrodes into. And thus we need to shorten the battery wires a bit. Now that we have our shortened wires, we'll just wire them up to the battery contacts which are made out of 2.54 mm pitch terminal connectors, also known as 0.1 inch terminal connector, and they've just been bent a bit. We'll then just shove them into the adapter and glue them in place. With that, the adapter is complete. You can add the cover on top of the adapter now. I just chose to left it off in case I needed to troubleshoot the wiring. Here is the pre 3D printed pieces and I've already threaded through the wires to the other side using some forceps. And we'll then add a little bit of hot glue to the backside of the battery adapter 
and then shove it inside while pulling the wires so that we get the maximum amount of wires outside the battery container. We'll then check the charging circuit that it'll still fit with the new wires attached and then start to consider shortening the wires coming from the battery compartment. Now that everything's assembled, we'll just get it a dab of glue and once that's hardened, we can snap in a battery and attach it to the camera. And there we have it, I've brought back a pocket camera from the dead using a couple of euros of parts, a cell that was scavenged from a dead laptop battery and some 3D printing. I hope you've enjoyed your stay, all of the links are in the video description and I'll see you in the next one.